guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be finishing where we left off in the previous episode of this little freight yard build. Since that recording, I've laid a little bit of extra track outside of the yard, and I've also cleared out some buildings for what we're going to be doing today. In doing so, I've made a couple extra decisions regarding what I want to do regarding track work, so we're going to take care of those real quick with my newly found knowledge that I acquired in the last episode of this build, but we're not going to waste any time. We're just going to get this show on the road. There's a bunny staring at me very intently while I'm doing this. Why is this the case? So aside from doing this switch here, I also want to make this a switch and I will explain why I'm doing this in a minute. So what I've come to decide in regards to this little rail yard is that I'm going to add one extra track over here. Let's throw a buffer on the end of it. Okay. So except for the, uh, couple of switch point controls that I have yet to add. This is pretty much what I think will be the finished track plan for this little yard. We're going to have an engine shed or some kind of engine storage here. Got a little run around and this is where the um, actual building is going to be. So I am going to get this build started. I'm actually going to start this build by placing a few freight cars, I'm trying to figure out how long I need this platform to go. I think what I'm going to do for the platform is it's going to be three blocks wide and it's just going to start all the way down here. How does that feel in terms of how close it is? Or would it be better if it was, uh, I think it feels better if it's a whole block. So here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to grab ourselves some stone brick stairs and I'm going to make this whole entire thing. Well, not the whole entire thing, but I'm going to make a sizable portion of it. Stone brick. Bang. Okay. Yeah, that feels good. That feels nice. Now let's decorate just a little bit. I think with some more. Ooh, actually, 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 factually. And then every handful of blocks will go like this. We'll go threes. Get rid of those because they're going to mess with the design I'm about to throw in here. And it's at this one where the actual building is going to start. So let me grab iron bars because that was the plan all along. Question, do iron bars mesh with fences? Because we could have ourselves a really cool design. Does this work? Oh my gosh, if it works. Oh. Now here's the thing. A lot of people were getting on me about not using lanterns. I'm playing in version 1.12.2 and lanterns are unfortunately not in this version of the game. So I don't like it any more than you do, but that's just unfortunately the truth. Let's go one, two, three, four. Now, if you will give Freight Depot a quick Google search, you will find that pretty much all of them are made out of brick, like regular red bricks. And it is for that reason that the freight depot I'm about to build will also be constructed out of red brick. And I have an idea for how the rest of this thing is going to look. I might have to knock out this little well in the middle of the village too. I like how I just said I might have to as I was doing it. I don't know why I'm the way that I am currently, but it just does appear to be uh, an unavoidable fact that I am this way. So you're just going to have to deal with it. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not your video. <laughs> I make the rules. <laughs> okay, so here's how we're actually gonna do this. I lied that first time. The, and, and I'm basing this off of a Google image search that I am currently referencing. There's like thin, tall windows in some bits, and then there's large openings in others. The more I'm looking at this, I understand that brick and birch and stone is a weird combo, and I am also kind of fighting my own instincts over it. I've yet to decide if I really like it. So you're just going to have to bear with me for the next bit. What if I surround it with stuff like that? That makes it a little more tolerable. Let's also save ourselves some time slash fill Minecraft stone brick. Awesome. Not to mention that I'm pretty sure I already know how I want the floor to look. The question does become because I want it to be these stone slabs. Is this like a block type I can like work with here. Double stone slab. Double stone slab. Oh, let's see if we can find something that works for like the interior. That actually looks really nice. I can live with this and then I'll put something here like a table or something. Again, just totally spitballing. No real, no real ideas or not necessarily no ideas, but no reference, no rush, no worries. Just having fun building. This is not the series where we stress over the details. This is where we just build it. And if we like it, it's good. And I'm going to be honest, I think, I think, emphasis on think, I think I like where this is going. And I think it's here where I will start to connect it to the surrounding village. Let's do some stuff like this. This is a very, very strange mishmash of colors. Under these weird conditions, the design is starting to slowly fall apart. Maybe I can hold it together with some stone brick stairs because I like the idea of using brick. I do. I really, really do. This is, this is starting to get 
silly. What if I did this outside? This kind of thing. I'm just really trying to... I'm, I'm very desperately trying to hold this together so I can get away with the brick. And it's proving challenging. <laughs> so this wall then is not a problem because it's going to be open to a bigger kind of freight platform over here. So that is what I'm going to focus on next. <laughs> I think. <laughs> then I got to do slash fill. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then at the open end of the building, I am going to have a thing that comes across the top like that. Big opening to the building. Awesome. What kind of item storage do we have? We've got chests. This is pre-barrel. So we're just going to have to live with chests. Not a lot of thought going into a lot of the stuff that's going on here, but I don't think that's a huge issue. Good, 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 good. Thinking about the outside bit of the building I'm planning on doing here and how I could make the shape a little more interesting. That is what I'm going to execute on currently. I know I'm, I know I'm speaking a lot of gibberish in like how I'm thinking out loud, but that's just because there's a lot of rules I'm trying to adhere to in my head. And uh, just keeping track of everything is challenging sometimes, but I am doing my best. And then we'll do this. We'll do this, we'll do this. Now, does that logic apply over here? Don't think it does, but I'm not as worried about it. I don't know, that's a close one. Let's do something a little different. Let's get our good friend Andesite to hold down the ground like that. Now, how does that make me feel? Does that make me feel good about myself and my decisions? It sure does. I will continue this over here. I thought that was a weird hole in the planet, but I just remembered it's the well that I got rid of. That psyched me out real bad. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Yeah, and then I can carry this and then it gives the building a little more definition and shape. This is wonderful. There's a lot of weird block combos in this build, but I think I'm here for it. Yeah. Okay, so now all this thing needs is a roof. And if we remember anything from the previous video, I am awesome at making decisions in building roofs. And this isn't going to take a long time. Why is that not birch wood plank slab? Because that's birch wood. And that is not the slab of... That's annoying and confusing and I hate it. And it's dumb and stupid and lame. I'll tell you exactly what about this is wrong. Um, it's that this needs to go here. This needs to move up to here. This can be brick because this is not where this block should be. This block needs to be here. Now this goes here because I need to be consistent with the rules I set for my own designs and I'm not doing that currently. Um, but this should hopefully fix it. I just realized why am I cutting the cobblestone off with bricks in this part of the building? when it's going to connect over the top and it will also be a nice contrast if I just did it like this. I confuse myself sometimes, but that's just how I roll. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just trying to stay consistent with my own design, like rules that I am like setting as I put this thing together. So the question now is what do I want the roof of this to be made? What do I want the ceiling, not the roof, this interior ceiling to be comprised of. Did someone say acacia logs? Yeah, that looks lovely. Okay, so lighting the the thing. Oh, well, no, that's so easy. Torches, I've already got some in my hand. Let's find some nice points of symmetry at the center of which they can be placed. Let's go such time set 18,000, 18, holy crap. There we go. That works. That doesn't, but that's enough for that. We could put one here. That feels good. We've got lights. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to put them on every single one. There's no reason for it to not be this way other than I said it first, but I'm an idiot. We'll put one here because it's close to the actual platform. Better idea. Better, better, better idea. Put them on the pillars. So now the question does become, how am I going to first finish off this? We'll try this. We'll feel this out. How does that look? That feels a little more reasonable. So now the question becomes, how are these going to get topped off. I might just do it like this. How does this feel? Does this feel better? Yeah, that feels way better. Right? Is that what I want? Ooh, 
because then this looks kind of silly. We're going to extend these out by one block and all of the rest of these are going to then be stairs. And I actually might skip over this one because it's right on the wall. Yeah. Okay. Last thing I need to do, finish building the roof shape and then figure out how the underside of the roof in the actual out quote unquote outdoor bit is going to look. So now I'm just adding some extra like beams to, you know, support the weight of this giant roof. These actually could be made out of that cool now let me just kind of get another feel for the end of this that looks good this looks good now i just need to finish the underside of this and i think the obvious answer torches in places uh actually you know what symmetrical symmetrical i love it i'm set eight eighteen thousand midnight yeah look at this joint <laughs> yes sir oh boy and with that i think our little freight depot over here for all intents and purposes i think it's done granted i didn't add any kind of shed to this little engine storage over here and i do need to make the turnout controls for this portion here so if you'll uh Give me just one second. I'm going to take care of that. Now, part of me is wondering if I should try and figure out if I can make some kind of remote hub where I can control all of the turnouts from one place. That would require a rework of how I actually operate the turnouts manually, but uh, I have ideas. Let me fill out the rest of this rail bed for the pertaining length of the yard. And this is where we get back into like the mainline stuff. And those two are going to merge together over there. And I am going to balance the corner of this and that all pertains to mainline over there anyway. So that right there. Look at that. Look at that. That looks lovely with this build completed i think we are one very positive step towards the end of this railway and i hope you're enjoying this as much as i am because i'm starting to really have a lot of fun with this so for today our work here is done that is going to do for this video so if you like this video and you want to see more stuff like this do consider subscribing and sharing this video to your friends places things and the blah 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 that's going to be for this video and i will see you all in the next one talk to you guys later bye